What's going on guys, my name's Jonathan and welcome to some more Modern Warfare 2. Yeah! Basically for today's video, we're just gonna sit back and relax like what I did on my last Modern Warfare 2 video. If you haven't watched it already, please do so. And we're basically gonna be talking about Modern Warfare 3 should be DLC for Modern Warfare 2. And I'm gonna explain why very soon. So I think for the time being, we're gonna be using the M13C, the new AR, and the AK-74U, or what they call it, the caster. Why the heck? Okay, yep, okay. We still got quite a lot to do on the battle pass, as I, well, as you can see right now, it's so bare bones, even though I should have made two videos already with the new two weapons, but yeah. Yeah, this game is quite boring to play when it's very close until the next Call of Duty comes out only three months away. Ah, who cares? So like always, we're going to go and play some TDM and I bloody hope it's going to turn out well unless Skip Ass Matrix Bacon is going to kick my ass again. <laughs> Also, I forgot, if you guys haven't subscribed already, please do so, because we're on the way to 550 subscribers at the moment. If you guys want to like the video as well, please do so. But, okay, let me shut up. Let's get to the video. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Basically, I wanted to talk about on why Modern Warfare 3 should have been a DLC. The reasoning behind it was, is that Modern Warfare 3 is going to have Modern Warfare 2 2009 maps all, like, remastered, basically, as what I've heard. And the problem is with that as well, but basically just getting a Modern Warfare 2 remastered. And it's like, why even bother, like, making a new game when there's not going to be really any new maps at all? Like, if you haven't played Modern Warfare 2 2009, you would go, oh, okay, it's a new map. But if you haven't played it, what are you doing? And secondly, it's the weapons as well. As well, I talked on my last video, all weapons from Modern Warfare 2 are coming to Modern Warfare 3. So the issue is with that, is you can use the most broken guns that are on Modern Warfare 2 right now. And you can use it in Modern Warfare 3. Like, at the same time, it's a cool idea. But when you think about it for Warzone, sure, no worries. But for multiplayer, what's even... Like, why would you bother? Like, if you already got Orion on Modern Warfare 2, what is even the point? You're just going to go and bloody play Modern Warfare 3 for, like, I don't know how many weapons are going to add into the game and go for their mastery camo? Don't get me wrong, it's cool that we're getting new weapons and that for Modern Warfare 3, but at the same time, it's like, really, guys? It seems pretty lazy on their behalf. Yeah, this game's broken. But the way that they're trying to promote with the multiplayer, it's like, couldn't you guys have just not put the maps and all the new weapons into Modern Warfare 2 as a big expansion pack, as what the rumors had said at the beginning of, like, the year? For the Warzone, I completely understand. Like, for Warzone, it was like that with, like, Cold War, Vanguard, and Modern Warfare 2019. I understand that, because it's Warzone. It's a bad real game. But when you look on the side of multiplayer, people want to buy new Call of Duty games every year because it's something different and new. So if we're going to get something like what Modern Warfare feet is trying to, to like really promote why couldn't you just put it on like a bloody dlc but it's like what happens every year every call of duty game deserves to be better but at the same time the issue is is that they don't have enough time to properly fix their game because they're working on the next call of duty game so now like for example modern warfare 2 how bootleg this game is the maps in the game were just atrocious. Like, I've got to give it to them. This is, like, one of the worst maps that I've played in a long time. And all of a sudden, we're getting Modern Warfare 2 2009 maps coming. Modern Warfare 3, because they can't make good maps. Even though it's made by Slave Hammer Games, which, I mean, they really have a really bad reputation, if you think about it. But that's the only negative side of Modern Warfare 3. But we're going to talk about the positive side of it. For the multiplayer first. What's inside of with the multiplayer for Modern Warfare 3 is that at least we're going to have some good old classic maps, which I said earlier. Because those maps have been like one of the best maps in Call of Duty history. Like, come on. Cool that we are getting new weapons and also more weapons well, for Modern Warfare 2, which means there's going to be a lot of more content in the game to work on. Like, for somebody that hasn't played Modern Warfare 2, like, really at all, coming to Modern Warfare 3 would be a blast because you will have so much content to, like, really play on. I believe they said that you can go for the Orion camo on Modern Warfare 2 weapons only. So if you haven't unlocked Orion camo on, well, basically Modern Warfare 2, you can go for that with the Modern Warfare 2 weapons. Then you can go for the Modern Warfare 3 Mastery camo. For me, it's going to be different because I've already unlocked Orion. So I will be going for the Modern Warfare 3 Mastery camo. And it's a little bit worrying because, honestly, we don't even know how many weapons because the beta's not coming out until October. It also gets me as well. Why on earth are they releasing the beta a month before the actual release? Is it coming out in October? What is even the point of releasing the beta a month before the actual release? Now, I wouldn't really call that a beta in my opinion, but what about you guys? Like, would you guys call that a beta or an early access? I would call it early access because it's like, like four weeks later, you get the full access. Oh, shit! All right! Oh! oh. 
So that's the only positive side really for Modern Warfare 3 for the time being. It might change later on because, well, we haven't really played the beta at the moment. But honestly, I cannot wait for this game to be over, man. Because the thing is that I don't really play as much Call of Duty after you get, well, basically the master camo. So I'm only just playing it time to time. Like, I might only play for like an hour and not play it for another like two, three days because I'm busy playing another game. It was like, we're like Cyberpunk. I'm going back into Cyberpunk because it's actually quite fun to play now. If you haven't watched that video, please do so. Is that guy you spawn in front of me? Wait. Hardcore Gaming W. <laughs> Mr. Days, but Call of Duty used to be fun. <laughs> oh, what the? Now, the main problem area is up here. All of this going on up here is what's causing me the most physical- Oh, fuck! Anyway, we're talking about that with the multiplayer side for the time being. Then you know is that this is only my opinion for now. Now we're going to talk about with the whole campaign. I thought that Activision and Call of Duty finally released the trailer for the new Call of Duty campaign. I've got to say that looking at the campaign trailer, I'm going to give them credit, man. Like, they do an excellent job with the campaigns. Like, whoever is working on the campaigns on, like, like so Tramway, Fanny, Warning, Treyarch, and Baven Software, good on you, man. Like, well done. I'm really excited for what they're going to bring for the new campaign. I know Macroft is coming back as well. We've got all the classic characters coming. Basically, it's like, if you haven't played the original trilogy, then going and playing this one, you will sort of have an idea of what's really happening. At the same time, anything could happen. So it's, I am excited for the campaign for Modern Warfare 3. It also still makes me, like, question for the next, like, Infinity Ward game. Because they've been, like, a year, like, difference on the Modern Warfare storyline. Because people thought we were getting, like, a new trailer game or something. But nope, that didn't happen, didn't it? <laughs> but at the same time with the campaign, it should be a DLC. Because when you look at it, it looks exactly the same like Modern Warfare 2. Even though the graphics might be a little bit different for what they have said. But most of the time it's like, I don't care about the graphics, I care about the gameplay and physics. I don't care if like a game has like the most bootleg graphics, but if the gameplay's fun, I'll play it. Seeing for the gameplay that they showed off, like yeah, it's cool, like awesome. But I don't have the same reaction as what I was like with like Modern Warfare 2's reveal for the campaign. Because it's just like I'm looking at the same gameplay. And it's like no wonder why so many people are so like fed up and really annoyed. Like they're not happy. Which I understand why. They're basically overcharging something that shouldn't be well bloody war how much it is now, like a hundred dollars in Australia. Like sure, if it was any more cheaper, then I'll be like, okay, it's fine. It would have been better if they would. I know that wouldn't because it's Activision. My disappointment is immeasurable and my day is ruined. Is that if they made it cheaper for people that have already bought Modern Warfare 2. Like you go into like the store and it's like, I don't know, like 30 bucks off or whatever. Because you've already bought Modern Warfare 2. Like that would have been a better idea, but yeah, that's never going to happen, ain't it? Basically getting overcharged for something that shouldn't be what it is. And you know, that's one thing I noticed. In Australia, we got something called JB Hi-Fi. And what I realized, which I'm going to put on the screen right now, it's cheaper to go and pre-order Modern Warfare 3 for $79 with a standard edition than going to buy Modern Warfare 2 standard edition. You're trying to tell me it's $79 to pre-order Modern Warfare 3 when it's $89 Modern Warfare 2. So if you're trying to tell me that it's a new game, you can go and get... Like, sure, most of you are going to be like, oh, stop bitching and all of that. But at the same time, it's like, I'm not the only person that's complaining. Like, am I going to buy the next Call of Duty game? Absolutely. I've been playing Call of Duty for a very long time. I think my first Call of Duty was like Call of Duty 4 on the Wii. <laughs> But what about everyone else? Do you agree with what I'm saying of that Modern Warfare 3 should be DLC for Modern Warfare 2? Or do you just not really care at all? Like, you're just going to be like, eh, it's alright, I'll play it anyway. Because knowing my luck, when I play it, when the game comes out, it's going to be an absolute sweat fest of AK-74Us and bars nerves and everything. Yeah, I can't wait. And there's going to be me using, like, the most basic weapons on the actual Modern Warfare 3. Because <laughs> most of the time it's like, nah, you don't even have to buy Modern Warfare 3. You can just keep playing Modern Warfare 2. It's not like it's going to be any different anyway. Hey, okay, V6 kills later. I didn't really know what how many kills I was going, but okay, okay. I mean, it's cool, though, that the campaign is going to have like, open combat missions, which will be, like, including kill streaks, loadouts, loadout crates, vehicle to use, in-game revive kits, field upgrades, and more. And most of the time, it's like, is that just special ops? Like, seriously? But it's also funny, though, how, like, Sledgehammer Games is giving, like, the biggest middle finger to Infinity Ward for what they've done with the multiplayer for Modern Warfare 2. Everything that people wanted for Modern Warfare 2 is basically what they're going to be putting in Modern Warfare 3. And Sledgehammer is like, okay, no worries. All right, it's all good. Like, lead load cancelling, slide cancelling, map voting, red dots on the map. We could have got this on Modern Warfare 2, but, you know, the guys in Infinity Ward have no idea what they're doing because most of the players that play this game look like recruit bots. Yeah, I really don't know what's going on. Okay, I've got one. 
one token out of what? How many I've got to do? I'm going to try and get the blade for Mars, really. Also wanted to say thank you all for the love and support on my videos lately. Sorry if I haven't been really uploading as much because work is getting in the way and coming back home after the early morning, it's like, now nah, I can't be really bothered. But we've got more videos on the way because we've got Starfield coming out very soon, so I'm going to be doing a video on that. we also got some more Call of Duty videos on the way, which I've got to record as well. We might go back to more BO2, BO1, BO3, World at War even. Basically all the old Call of Duty games. No shit. I feel like I'm just doing more times just leaving the matches and actually playing them. I feel like if I've got like a record count of how many bloody matches I've left because of the stupid maps, man, I'll be a bloody millionaire. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> really? Hey, if we had map voting, we'll be able to skip this. Oh my, this is going to be the final game before I go and edit this video, which might take an hour, four hours of my life. <laughs> A lot of you would be like, why don't you gonna play on PC if you own like, I don't know, like a really expensive PC? I just wanted to buy a PC so I could do recording and editing. It just seems to be cheaper to go and buy a gaming PC, but there might be a couple of games I might actually play on the PC if it is only exclusive to PC only. I'm an Xbox fan, I've always been an Xbox fan, and basically it's like I'm playing on Xbox, so yeah, I don't really know what to say about that. <laughs> Yeah, I can't wait for Modern Warfare 3 skill-based matchmaking. Dad me arm or shotgun V2. <laughs> Sir, you spell f wrong. That's that on YouTube. Dude, how the hell do people have fun playing these maps, man? Just camping simulation number five. I can't imagine me getting 1,000 subscribers at the end of the year. That would be insane. Ooh, unless. <laughs> hey, guys, I would rather play a map that you actually can move around properly without some douchebag camping in the corner, you know. Okay, where is everyone? Reload the gu reload. Yeah, it's great seeing like one kill per like 10 seconds of the actual game. Yeah, it's great. I love it. But I've only been playing this game for about half an hour and I'm only starting to lose it, man. I also forgot to talk about with the zombie. It's really cool that they're being back zombies for Modern Warfare 3. Really? Is it like really outbreak? Really? Like, don't get me wrong, for Cold War Zombies, I absolutely loved Cold War Zombies to bits, even though I was number one on one of the maps in the world, which I got proof right now. But at the same time, it's like, if that was round base, I would have gone, yes, let's go. Because you guys remember when they promoted zombies on Vanguard and look how terrible that turned out to be? Yeah, that's why I'm a little bit worried about the zombies. But am I going to still play zombies? Absolutely. Might play zombies more than the actual multiplayer while I did on Black Ops Cold War. Well, everyone, that's going to be the video for today. Thank you all so much for watching. And like what I said earlier, if you haven't subscribed already, please do so because we're on the road to 550 subscribers at the moment, which is just insane. Like I was saying, like 200, 300 subscribers like two months ago ago like come on if you guys also want to share this video as well please do so because the more you share it'll be working with the algorithm on youtube as well if you guys want to check out my social medias they're all down in the description down below also if you guys want to check out more of my videos they're all in the top right corner right now besides everyone more videos will be on the way like what i said earlier sorry if the video is a little bit all over the place as well because it's like i'm getting really sick and tired of playing modern warfare 2 because i'm gonna be honest but hey it's only positive vibes here but like what i say on all my videos as well be mentally positive because always the positive side of life. Besides that, everyone, my name's Jonathan. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and night. I'll see you guys in my next video. Okay, time to go back to Cyberpunk.